I'm very happy to be talking to Mr. Ahmad Bidabadi. He's from Iran and he's chairman of the data processing company, which is a, an infrastructure company involved in rolling out infrastructure in Iran. What sort of challenges have you had uh, in rolling out infrastructure in Iran? Uh, our, one of the biggest challenges is not having very a strong or well-defined regulatory. This is one of the big challenges. And uh, another challenge is, is these days is, you know, the embargo issue. Because as we go into forward and most of the equipment is from Western world. So to be very honest, uh, if we want to expand, we need their help. We need their equipment. So this is one of the challenges. Another challenge is that uh, we are going to use the e-learning. So we have to do a lot of training program for the teachers because now the teachers are not used to this kind of equipment to use for e-learning and new multimedia equipment. So this is another challenge. Another challenge is the national governance of internet. This is another challenge we have, not well defined yet. As we go, they are changing and modifying, you can say, uh, every six months there is new regulation. So since the rapid of the internet connectivity is very high and uh, we have these kind of challenges in the country and the private sector, you know, one of the WISA's action line is to involve private sector. As you know, most of the thing was governmental in Iran. With the privatization has happened recently. So the regulation for privatization is not well defined yet. Do you have many um Many telecoms providers, or is yes, it uh, we have twelve uh, actually broadband operators within the Iran, which are private company, and they got license from the government. And we can say sixty percent of the broadband already installed is being invested by the private company. Right. Now we've been hearing a lot about reaching out to rural areas. Is this an issue in Iran? I imagine it is because it's a vast country. Yes. This is one of our uh, the goal of the fifth years plan to reach all the village and we have already connected 20,000 village, which around 7,000 villages still is not connected. So at the end of our fifth plan, which is in the next two years, we should connect all these villages, at least to have the ICT connection in one area. That means the people of the village go to that center to use interconnectivity. But are you satisfied that there is enough investment in this part? Of, you, you're looking for outside investment? No, for sure. We need, uh, actually, we have to do a lots of investment internally and from outside. And I think it's a golden opportunity for foreigners to come to invest. Uh, one example, eight years ago, if you want to get a SIM card, it would take you one year. There was a big queue. Now you get it in one minute and you pay one dollar for it to get a SIM card. The same situation is happening for broadband. So that means I'm, I'm very sure in next five years, you know, we will have right now five million broadband. I'm sure we will have 40 million broadband connection. So that means that there is a huge and golden opportunity for everyone, for even private company, even foreigner to invest. And I'm sure the return on investment will be good. Thank you very, very much. Thank you.